The Story of Guardian Angels, A Tale of Protection and Guidance Since the dawn of time, humans have believed in unseen forces watching over them. Among these forces, one stands out as both protector and guide, the guardian angel. Guardian angels are more than mere figures of faith. They are divine companions on life's journey, sent by God to protect, guide, and inspire every individual they are assigned to. This belief spans centuries and cultures. It can be traced to ancient Judaism, where angels played a pivotal role as protectors. In the Christian tradition, this idea was fully developed in the 5th century by Pseudo-Dionysius the Areopagite, whose work on the hierarchy of angels laid the groundwork for our understanding of their roles. These divine guardians were not simply spiritual beings, they were charged with guiding human souls along the often perilous path of life, steering them toward good and guarding them against harm. One of the most powerful illustrations of this comes from the story of Lot in the book of Genesis. Lot and his family were delivered from the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, guided by angels who acted on God's behalf. Another well-known story is found in the book of Tobit, where Archangel Raphael guides Tobias through a treacherous journey, offering wisdom, protection, and healing. These narratives reveal a deep truth guardian angels are sent not just to watch over us, but to lead us toward a fuller understanding of God's will and purpose in our lives. In Psalm 91:11, the promise is clear, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. This promise reassures us that no matter where we go or what challenges we face, we are never alone. Our guardian angels are constantly by our side, guiding us through difficulties, helping us make righteous decisions, and offering protection in times of danger. Key Moments of Intervention Guardian Angels in Action Throughout the Bible, angels step in during critical moments to protect and guide individuals and even nations. In the book of Exodus, God tells Moses, My angel shall go before thee ensuring that the people of Israel are safeguarded during their exodus from Egypt. In the New Testament, Jesus reminds us not to despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father who is in heaven, Matthew 18.10. Here, Christ affirms the role of guardian angels, especially for the most vulnerable, ensuring that every person is assigned divine protection. The early church fathers, such as St. Jerome and St. Thomas Aquinas, further emphasized the dignity of the human soul, each one precious enough to warrant the care of a personal angel from birth. St. Jerome noted, How great the dignity of the soul, since each one has from his birth an angel commissioned to guard it. Aquinas taught that the angels, particularly those of the lower hierarchy, are tasked with guiding us on the dangerous road of life, offering protection from external harm and internal temptation. Over time, this belief became so central to Christian theology that the Feast of the Guardian Angels was officially added to the Catholic calendar in the 15th century. As Pope John Paul II once said, let us invoke the Queen of Angels and Saints, that she may grant us, supported by our Guardian Angels, to be authentic witnesses to the Lord's Paschal Mystery. Enduring Value and Practical Lessons for Today The story of guardian angels is more than an ancient tale. It is a powerful reminder of God's constant care in our modern world. The belief in guardian angels encourages us to live courageously, knowing that we are divinely protected. In a world filled with uncertainty and challenges, this assurance offers peace and hope. Here are three ways we can benefit from this belief today. Trust in divine guidance. Just as Tobias was guided by Archangel Raphael, we can trust that we are never truly lost. Even in moments of confusion, we can seek divine guidance and believe that our guardian angels will lead us on the right path. Seek protection in difficult times. The angels' role in protecting Lot and the Israelites 
reminds us that we are not without help in times of trial. Calling upon our guardian angels in moments of fear or uncertainty can give us the strength to persevere. Live with purpose. Recognizing that God has assigned an angel to each of us underscores our inherent worth and purpose. This can motivate us to live more purposefully, knowing that we are constantly supported and guided to fulfill God's plan for our lives. In the words of St. Thomas Aquinas, as guardians are appointed for men who have to pass by an unsafe road, so an angel is assigned to each man as long as he is a wayfarer. Let this truth inspire you to walk confidently in your life's journey, knowing that you are watched over by heavenly beings sent to guide and protect you every step of the way. Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. That's 2 Kings 6.16 6, God will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Psalm 91.11 Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.